All right, so in this video, I'm going to be solving a system of equations. So in my system of equations, I have two equations. My first is AB plus A is equal to 32. So this is going to be my first equation. And my second equation is going to be AB plus B is equal to 35. So to solve the system of equations, I have to find the value of a and b. So to start out, what I'm going to do is subtract equation 2 from equation 1. So equation 1 minus equation 2. Equation 1 is a plus, ab plus a equals 32. So I have ab plus a minus ab plus b is equal to 32 minus 35. So to solve this, what I'm first going to do is distribute the negative sign. So now I get ab plus a minus ab minus b is equal to 32 minus 5, which is equal to negative 3. Now I can cancel out ab and negative ab. So I'm left with a minus b is equal to negative 3. And this means that a is equal to b minus 3. So now what I can do is substitute this value of a into equation number 2. So equation number 2 is ab plus b equals 35, right? Well, now that I've got a value of a in correlation to the value of b, I can plug this in. So now I get b minus 3 times b plus b is equal to 35. And now my only variable in this equation is b. So we can solve this. What I'm first going to do is distribute the b. b times b is b squared, and b times negative 3 is negative 3b. And now I have this plus b is equal to 35 and negative 3b plus b is equal to negative 2b and if I subtract 35 on both sides I get b squared minus 2b minus 35 is equal to 0. Now from here what I'm going to do is actually add this back because we did miss a step. So b squared minus 2b is equal to 35 once again. Actually, before doing that, what I'm going to do is add 1 on both sides. So now I have b squared minus 2b plus 1 is equal to 36. And now the reason I did that <clears throat> is because b squared minus 2b plus 1 is the same thing as b minus 1 squared. And now I can take the square root on both sides because the square root of 36 is a whole number. And now I get b minus 1 is equal to positive or negative 6. So this gives me two equations. I get b minus 1 is equal to positive 6, and b minus 1 is equal to negative 6. So for b minus 1 equals positive 6, I can just add 1 on both sides, and I get b equals 7. And for b minus 1 equals negative 6, I can again add 1 on both sides, and I get b equals negative 5. So now from here, I have to plug this back in to this equation right here, a, b plus b equals 35. So if b equals 7, I get 7a plus 7 is equal to 35, meaning 7a is equal to 28, and a equals 4. So if a equals 4, then b equals 7. This is one solution to my system equations. And now if b equals negative 5, I get negative 5a minus 5 is equal to 35, meaning negative 5a is equal to 40, and a equals negative 8. So if b equals negative 5, then a equals negative 8. So these are my two solutions. 
All right, so in this problem, I have four to the power of x plus six to the power of x is equal to nine to the power of x. So to solve this, I'm gonna divide both sides by four to the power of x. So I get four to the power of x over four to the power of x plus six to the power of x over four to the power of x is equal to nine to the power of x over four to the power of x. Now, four to the power of x and four to the power of x cancel out, so I get one plus six to the power of x over four to the power of x is equal to nine to the power of x over four to the power of x. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So in this case, six to the power of x over four to the power of x is gonna equal six over four to the power of x. And nine to the power of x over four to the power of x is gonna equal nine, to the, nine over four to the power of x. Now I can simplify these fractions. So six over four is equal to three over two. And nine over four, I'm gonna rewrite as three squared over two squared. And I can actually use this property again for 3 squared over 2 squared. So that's going to equal 3 over 2 squared to the power of x. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of n to the power of n. So this can equal 1 plus 3 over 2 to the power of x, which is equal to 3 over 2 to the power of x to the power of 2. Now I'm going to let 3 over 2 to the power of x equal to the variable y. So I get 1 plus y is equal to y squared. And if I subtract y minus 1 on both sides, these four cancel out, and I get y squared minus y minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, to solve this equation, I'm going to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is negative 1, and c is negative 1. So I get y is equal to negative of negative 1 plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. So negative 1 squared, which is 1, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is negative 1, all over 2a, so 2 times 1. Now this is equal to positive 1 plus or minus square root of 1 plus 4 over 2 which is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. So y is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. However, we're not done yet because we're not solving for y, we're solving for x. And remember how we let 3 over 2 to the power of x equal to y. So this gives me two equations. I have 3 over 2 to the power of x is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2, as well as 3 over 2 to the power of x is equal to 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2. Now, to actually start, we can already cancel out one of these equations, which is the right-hand one, because 1 minus the square root of 5 is going to be a negative number, and you can't take the power of a positive number and make it equal a negative number. So this equation wouldn't even work. So the only equation I have left is 3 over 2 to the power of x is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And to solve this, I'm going to take the log on both sides. So I have log 3 over 2 to the power of x is equal to log 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. So now this turns into x times log 3 over 2 is equal to log 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And now if I divide both sides by log 3 over 2, I get x is equal to log 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 over log 3 over 2.